<clears throat> you want to know my subject? Sure. I'm going to talk about how I cheated on you. Really? Yep. Is this like a future video or when are you doing this? This next week. Is that all you have to say? Yeah. Are you? <laughs> Hello, my belly is showing. That was not the response I was hoping for. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Yes, family, it is true. I did cheat on Melinda. This was a long time ago, a different lifetime ago. Um, while I know that it can be a very sensitive subject to a lot of people, um, please understand that Melinda and I have come to a place where we are very comfortable speaking about it because I think we both understand that a lot of marriages experience this sometime in one way or another. However, a marriage has experienced it, um, we can relate. and. If no one talks about it, then how are we going to start the healing process from it? <laughs> so, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the next step. Immediately after I told her, the first thing I thought about was something that I never thought that we would ever do, which was separate. We both never wanted that going into the marriage, um, but that's how I reacted after I told her. Against us. Azzy, come here. Hey, you stay here. Come here. What ended up happening between us is that we started spending more time together, more time as a family, more time just as a couple. And it was honestly a prayer that brought us together. The first sorrowful mystery is... Very good, Ave. Our Father, Ten Hail Marys. Our Father, who art in If you are a couple that has experienced something like this, if you know a couple that is experiencing something like this, I can only encourage um, those couples to find something that brings them and the family back together. For us, it was prayer. Trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from it wasn't until this happened until i confessed to her that our faith started to be lived out more regularly and i believe that holding having held that piece of information in for so long um, prevented us from ever moving forward. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be the world of God. So, as hard as it may be, I also would very highly encourage um, couples to be extremely honest with one another. In life afterwards, I have found that honesty heals. And 
I hope that Melinda was able to heal better because she knew that I was being completely honest from from there f forward. Like, I can't lie about having a donut, let alone anything worse than having a donut for the day that I wasn't supposed to have. So, um, honesty, honesty is key. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass it to her. Don't throw it at her. And most important thing, um, keep God the center of your relationship because ultimately, what are you building on if it's if it's not God, the creator of the universe, who created everything from sand to my toenails? Sorrowful mystery is what? No, that's the fourth. Anemones, our father ten homers. I wouldn't have been able to go forward in our relationship had I not told Melinda the truth. And when I told Melinda, I was very upfront with my friends and my family and all those around me because they needed to know what we were going through. From heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. As we forgive those who trespass against us, as we forgive those who Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, pray for us. And I think it's important for you to know, for us to move forward in this family relationship, that you should know what type of person I am, what I have been capable of doing, what I have done, good or bad. And I just believe that you need to know the power of Jesus Christ and his healing power. It was through admitting my weakness to Melinda that Jesus was able to pour his power into me and through me. It is through sharing my truth with others that others can begin to heal once they know that they are not alone in their struggles. Prayer has an amazing power to bring people closer together and this is why um, we as a family get together every single day in one form or another and we spend 20 minutes at least together praying. Um, if not here on our floor then um, somewhere but we unite together every day in prayer as a family O mother of the word incarnate despise not my petitions but in thy mercy hear and answer me amen in the name of the father son holy spirit